What is up, boys and girls? And I would like to proudly welcome you guys to the Pantheon movie. We are going to be playing three hours of one of the most hardest carrying 1v9 champions in the game. Not even within supports, just straight up in the game. Pantheon is one of the just hardest carrying champions. And I'm going to be proving it to you guys. So I uh, love this champion so much. He's super easy to play. He really, really fits my play style. And I know a lot of you guys' play styles. So whether or not you guys are just watching this for to be entertained or to learn Pantheon, we're going to have both. We're going to have three hours of just some of the craziest Pantheon support strategies you've ever seen. Lots of different builds, lots of different strategies and hit, hit, you know, tips and tricks, all that good stuff. So without further ado, um, yeah, let's get into it. But be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy these uh, types of videos where it's like multiple games put together, the, the, the mega videos, the movies, whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, let me know what champion we should be doing it next for. Uh, we're going to be looking to probably just jump on this brand level one. Eh, I was waiting for him to throw his W out. I was going to dodge it with my W and jump on him, but we can wait to level two. Uh, the beautiful thing about Pantheon is that your W is three empowered auto attacks, so you're going to be instantly proccing PTA. He's like one of the best users of PTA in the game. And then there's also some other cool things you can that will be proccing, like my mythic item and Bork and just all kinds of cool stuff. It is a disturbing amount of damage really, really fast. I'm going to be dropping the Ignite there. Five seconds, she's dead. Easy, easy. Uh, I don't think we'll actually kill this guy, but nope. That's just our jungle griefing, but it's all good. We got the kill. We got the first blood. Um, for those that don't know, your empowered Q on Pantheon is actually an execute if they're below 20% HP. You, like critically strike them. Wait, this guy cannot be here. Uh, maybe he can. Yeah, so your Q, you can throw it as a ranged ability. Spear. Um, just gotta, I'm just going to walk at these guys. Oh my god, I actually killed him. That right there is why I love Pantheon, man. People always underestimate the damage. Uh, so, all right. So we're going to be probably going Eclipse because that will also proc on the three empowered autos. But yeah, that's pretty much just like the bare minimum like Pantheon combo. You jump on them with your empowered Q once you have your passive proc'd up. Sorry, your empowered W. Hit him three times. It procs PTA. Auto attack Q. It's it's like a kill almost every single time. So very, very high octane. I, I love what this champion does to the game because it, it makes like both teams like play really, really aggro because they have to to match this champion's tempo. This off here. Do the, one of those. Block all that incoming minion damage. Yeah, what separates... I, in these movies, I try to always talk about, like, what separates a decent Pantheon player from, like, a truly good or great one. And very similar to Sona, it's just knowing how to use his passive. Knowing, knowing like, how to integrate the empowered uh, abilities, whether to use your Q, your W, your E. Because on the surface, Pantheon has a very, very simple kit, right? But... There's a lot of interesting things you can do with it. I'm actually gonna miss their cannon here. Nice. There are no enemies. Hit the cannon. There we go. Nice, nice. All right, she has red buff. Vars just whiffed his Q, so probably only go in on Brand when we get an angle. I think it's in that bush. He in that bush? Is he not? Not bad, not bad. One for one. A little damage on the brand. He wasn't in that bush. He was in that bush. But hey, it's a buff transfer, guys. Ouch. Pop our potion. We have ignite in 10 seconds. Honestly, I swear we can actually just jump on this brand and kill him. As crazy as that sounds. Yeah, if he walks up, we actually just one-tap him. Watch out that. Ah, oh, man, Neela's here now. All right, so already we are three and one. We're six minutes into the game. How how crazy is that? Yeah. 
Goodbye. Literally a solo kill. My ADC didn't even touch him. Name another support in the game that you could just do that with. Like, how freaking crazy is that? The beautiful thing with Pantheon is that you can go, um... You can go lethality and be, like, really, really good at killing squishies. But when you go Bork, you're also going to be really good at killing tanks. But yeah, you can just, like, straight up take over the map every single game with this champ. Like, I love him so much. Uh, full runes, guys. We've got PTA, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Coup de Grasse, Relentless Hunter, uh, Cheap Shot, and then AD Armor MR. Typically, I go uh, two adaptive runes, but I wanted to take a little bit of MR just because we're against a brand. Oh, man. I'm, I'm excited for you guys to watch this movie. Because we, we've got some absolute banger games for you. If you like Pantheon even as fraction, even a fraction as much as I love Pantheon, let me know down in the comments, guys. All right. If you're level six in here, we would just be alting him behind him. Ooh, so we'll kill top. No way. Oh, he flashed in front of it. What's going on? All right. Flashes in 10 seconds. Whatever. Get this shoved. Might be going for a roam here. I don't know. They, they might start playing like really, really safe. So we might have to go in order to truly maximize our like impact on the map. Might have to go like mid or top or play, play for jungle. Let's see here. On a ward. I don't want to get thrown into his turret is the thing. Like, I want to jump on this guy, but I'm pretty sure he just pushes me into turret. Ah, it's got to be a one. Got to be on a ward somewhere. Go back to bot. We have Talon coming, so Varus could just ult this brand. Get the engage go going. Everyone's playing so safe. Come on, man. Goodbye. Achilles! Mm, it's, good. it's a one for one. Not the best. Got a Zeer coming down. If Trundle's not with him, we can kill Azir. I'm really, really fed. <laughs> what are you two morons doing? What, what did he want us to do? <gasps> I'ma be real, that was a bad flash. I don't know what I was doing with my flash there, but it's okay. It's all good. He's still there in like 10 seconds. I'm going to ult on top of him. Oh my god. Bro, please, please stay. Please stay, Bran. Please help her shove the wave. No, he's going to go back. And I could ult the Neela, but probably not worth. Vengeance is cold. I do not need it on the mountain. Yeah, I actually like this. This town's a little deranged. Don't know what he's typing about, man. At least he's playing well, though. I want to alt someone, man. Um, they're probably good. Yeah, probably gonna be playing for their blue here. Sweep out vision. This guy doesn't have alt. Beautiful. Good follow up by Rek'Sai. Got Rift Hero going mid. Uh, we can alt in on this. See Trundle there. I ulted. Let's get this party started. Oh, we missed. Oh, 
No, I could have held my Q if I thought she'd flash. It's okay. Talon's got the dive patrol going. <laughs> All right, we are on full Bork. So now, just like with the PTA, I'm going to be proccing all three hits of the uh, the Bork passive on my Empowered W. It, it is like a disturbing amount of damage. Like, if you've never seen Bork Pantheon support before, get ready to have your freaking mind blown because it, it, it is absolutely wacky. Remember when the champion used to be able to block turret shots with his E? That was, that was a fun time. All right, we got Dragon up. Yeah, I also really like that about Pantheon is that like if the game's ever feeling a little slow, you need to you need to speed it up. You can literally just ult in. It'll work like 90% of the time. All right, I'm going to go Boots of Swiftness so I can be nice and swift. Oh, oh, he's gone. All right, we're probably going to be losing Dragon off of that. It's not gone. All right, I want to show you guys just how much damage Orc does. Okay. No way, man. He actually pushed me over the wall. What is this? Yeah. I've never seen that. He actually pushed me over the wall. But, okay. So, I got to use it one time there. 363 damage. And it's obviously going to be doing, like, more damage against tanks. So, like, if I, if I jump on Trundle with an Empowered W, it's literally, like, 600 damage. It's so insane. All right, got one minute to get the rest of these plates. Uh, we could dive. It's kind of sus. Talon's wanting to, though, of course. Whatever. We we got the dive going. <laughs> I got stunned out of my W, so it was kind of just a disaster. I think I think we probably need to stop listening to this Talon. All right, already 600 damage from Bork. I think it's going to be like really mind blowing to you guys when I compare my Bork damage, which is not even a mythic item, to people's mythic item damage. Like, I, I, I want to go, I want to go alt in on this guy. I'm coming, bro. Get in his face. Get him to fight you. Onward. The spear points in only one direction. Word. Oh my god. I can hold my own against their jungler. How crazy is that? I wield my fate as well. Up to a thousand damage on Bork, by the way. Oh, Gragas is lagging. I was wondering why he was literally just like standing there while I was begging him to go in. All right. Well, I guess we don't uh, gank top anymore then. Ah, oh, it's so gankable though. It's so gankable. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you tried, bro. You tried. Nice. Coming in for the cleanup. If he's there in 10 seconds, he's dead. Actually, I think I'll, I'll just push in mid. You ever see me just like poke, like stabbing my Q? I'm, I'm getting my, uh, my passive stacked up. Here we go. Oh, I don't have like any mana actually. I don't think I flashed on that. I don't, I don't know where his team's at. I could have flashed and caught him. And if his team's not behind him, I'll kill him, but... 
helps teams there. It's kind of a dead play. 1300 damage from uh, Bork, which again is not a mythic. In comparison, Nila's, Nila's mythic has done 170. Gragas's mythic has done almost 1000. So once you get um, once you get Bork and Eclipse, you're like basically full build. That looked really fun. That was some nice wombo bombos. Some ten seconds. All right. The only way we lose this game is if we get out skilled, because Pantheon is similar to the Pike in that, like, yes, he has all the tools to do what he wants to do early game, but it gets a little bit harder as the game goes on. I just effortlessly killed their jungler, by the way, as support. Guys, if you haven't already liked the video, come on, like the video for that one, boys. All right, dive time. I'll shut it up. I was hoping she didn't have her ulti up. Um, Dragon is up, but I have like, oh, he might come over here. He might come over here. No, come on, Gromp. Oh, he's going for it. Talon's going for it. <laughs> oh my god is he actually gonna live no way he's actually gonna live all right we probably don't go for that but we limit test boys this is this is like the ultimate limit testing champion honestly I wonder if it's possible for us to stop the dragon uh the way azir is moving towards it makes me think they're probably already on it they are Oh, nice try, man. That was a really nice try at stealing it. Because we fall, the climb hey, yo. Boris. Land an ultimate, bro. I haven't said anything for the first, like, three, but come on. I'm missing so many. Hello. Achilles! No way, it didn't hit. Okay. Cutting her off over here. Gragas has her. Maybe? No! No way, man. It's okay. We still get her. We still get her. No freaking way. And he misses slow? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wow, that was almost like the luckiest escape of all time. She gale forced out of my Q. Varus missed is slow. That was, oh my lord. I would have lost my mind if she got out of that. 2,000 damage on Bork. Oh. Ah. Could have gotten my E out if I knew I was going to get stunned. You're going to have to start shooting here, bro. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Brynn missed everything. Hey. Run, Varus. Run, Varus. This is such a banger of a game. This is such a banger of a game. I love Pantheon, man. It feels like every time I play this champion, it's just like so exciting. Must I die before I learn to live? All right. Uh, 1500 damage from PTA, 2.4k from Bork. We gotta start fighting these next dragons, though. Oh, almost missed the cannon. Almost pulled a zwag. Shut down. 
Um, all right, finally killed Gragas. They have no Baron angle though. We can get this turret and bot turret. Ouch. Nice. All right. I think I might be dead here. Oh, that guy's dead. That guy's dead, actually. Oh my god, that execute. Let's E out of that. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I'm not done, man. I'm not done. What we got what else we got here? Nah, I'm done. Want to fight for that Gromp? That's on you, bro. All right, we're gonna go Yomus, and we gotta fight for this next dragon. We have to. Sixty seconds on this. We could uh, we could look to ambush these guys right before dragon. Maybe Rexai tunnels in behind them. Stop the reward. All right, we can just control the pit. We don't. We don't have to like dive into them, guys. Oh, he's diving into them. Achilles! No, he flashed out of it, man. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, again, we have control of the pit. We could just go down there and get a free dragon. I can, uh, I can hit them as they try to check dragon here. Don't even have to like really all in. Just, just kind of have presence. You're get, you're getting, you're getting collapsed on, brother. I think the best thing I can do for him is try to get something done mid. So I think that Gragas is dead. Oh, he's, oh, he's actually not dead. Nice. I will press forward. Yeah. This is my way, buddy. You're not touching it. No! Man, the Azir is just playing out of his freaking mind this game. It's really hard to ever push when we just don't have five. I guess we, I guess we just like play for OBJs and play to like controlled uh, Baron Pit here. Because anytime we go anywhere near their turret, that's what's going to happen. He's just going to fling us into it. Wowzers. All right. What do we do here, guys? Because it kind of feels like we're getting a little outscaled, so I think we just need to start playing for Baron. Oh, we got knocked out of his E. Wait, I might be able to alt in on this. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Reinforcements have arrived, boys! Woo! I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Oh my god! Run, Gragas! Run, Gragas! Oh my god, he actually lived. All right, we need we need to get the Baron now. Oh, Varus is tanking it. Oh god! All right, I can tank because I can do my E. Just let it play out full duration. I'm a little low on mana here, but they have no smite, so don't think there's any world where they steal this. Don't worry, I'll steal it from us. How's that sound?
Alrighty. Huge. Global alt impact. Impact. Well, it's not really global. It's like half the globe. Semi-global. Nice. All right, well, much as I kind of ragged on this Talon for being unhinged, he's doing pretty well. Once again, just can't really dive into them, though. Zier will just do Azir things. Ouch, man. Whatever, we'll just split them in three lanes. Can't defend all three of them. Oh. Oh. Double kill. If I hear a triple. Okay, okay. Ooh, baby. Stacking up my passive. It's fully stacked. Ooh, he knocked me out of my stun. That was actually crazy. Doesn't matter though. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Yeah, it's look it's looking pretty over, but an absolute banger first game for the Pantheon movie, gotta say. And trust me, guys, it's only gonna get even freaking crazier. Oh no. <laughs> Just instant flash out of that. Oh my god, one more hit, dude. Oh no. Okay, we might have uh we might have four fund a little hard there. Okay. We get we get even more content for you guys. Yeah, that's that's why we didn't end the game. Okay, it's okay. Nexus is like literally one hit. If it's still alive after Talon attempts this back door. I can backdoor it in 70 seconds. I will soar majestically through the air and kill the Nexus. Oh, he sees something. Oh, he still sees something. Yo, he's got the moves. All right, 40 seconds before I before I backdoor this. Okay, get this FF vote out. Dude, I honestly with the new FF changes where you only need four people to vote yes, it is so easy to like troll vote yes and then three people instantly vote yes and you you just lose. I don't even meme vote yes anymore. Wait, eight seconds. I need like some of them to leave the base. Three seconds, two. Oh my god, oh my god. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are they all there? Oh, two, three, four, five. Six, yo, the Pantheon support backdoor for game one of the Pantheon movie. Can we get a like of the video for that? Seriously, guys, I am so excited for you to see the rest of this movie. Um, whether you're going to watch it all or put it on the background while you sleep, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments who you guys, uh, who you guys want to see me do a movie on next. But I want to see the damage chart for this first game before we go into our next one. Wow, what a crazy ending. So there it is, guys. We did second most damage. Out damaged only by the insanely fed Talon. He had 16 kills as mid laner. So, uh, yeah. Pantheon support. Absolute 1v9 champion. Can't wait for you guys to see the other games. Enjoy. Game 2.
Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to be showing you guys one of the absolute hardest carrying, easiest to play champions in the support position, and that is Pantheon. We are against a Draven and an Ash Lane, which is admittedly a pretty hard matchup. I mean, anything like having to do with the Draven is always a really, really scary lane. But I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute hardest carrying champion and item in Season 13. And it is way, it is even better, surprisingly, than it was last season. And it was really broken last season. So we're going to be showing you guys Bork Rush Pantheon support. Uh, hear me out. This is not remotely balanced. Um, you're basically going to be using your empowered W to jump on them, instantly proc press the attack, and then you are going to be hitting them with three procs of Bork, and it just literally does like 800 damage every single time. Like, it is not remotely balanced. I have no idea how it is in this, in the game in its current state. Not bad. Got our heal. Traded exhaust for heal. Also, we're playing our uh, with our ADC on no flash, unfortunately. He tried to flash and get a kill level one, but... But yeah, Bork Rush Pantheon, it is going to absolutely change your world. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you've ever tried this build before. Uh, I promise you the results will speak for itself. The second we get that Bork, you're just going to be seeing us, like, absolutely shredding squishies, shredding tanks since it's percentage health. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's really just way, way, way too much damage, so... Yeah, Boar Crush Pantheon, and we're gonna be showing you guys how to hopefully 1v9 with it. Now, we do need to be a little on the cautious side just because we have a Varus who's obviously not better than Draven early, and he also has no flash, so a little bit of a risky scenario here in general. I don't think they actually leash, so it's even worse for us because Diana probably started topside. Trading kills mid. All right, this should uh, this should push out to us. Get a w little away from their turret. Don't have ignite, but Draven doesn't have any potions. Once my Varus is level three, because apparently oh he missed XP. Just follow the flash. Get the second proc of E. Oh my god, we actually just killed both of them. So like I said, a, any Draven lane is always really scary. But Pantheon is like, Pantheon is the Draven of ADCs, to be honest. Like, this champion does, people always just think, oh, it's just playing support, he's not going to one-shot me. Nope, I one-shot you. It's crazy. It, it is just absolutely bizarre how this champion's allowed to do so much damage. And he's going to be doing even more damage once we get our Bork. So the game's trying to troll you here, guys. It's trying to get you to go one of these items first. Nope. Go your Bork first. It is even better than getting a Mythic. Going to go back into lane with a Vamp Scepter. Sell our pot. Boom. Get a refillable. A little better value there, long term. But yeah, just always, always, always been one of my favorite supports. He's just so easy to play. He's got a little literal click and stun. But he's one of those champions that, like, Pantheon has a really, really simple kit. But there's so much, like, mastery. Like, knowing certain combos and having good timing on your E and stuff like that. Like, you can squeeze a lot of value out of such a simple kit. Uh, four runes, you got Press the Attack, Triumph, Legend, Tenacity, Coup de Grasse. Uh, and then Sudden Impact, Relentless Hunter. Probably should have gone Cheap Shot over Sudden Impact, but that's fine. All right, we got Recurve Bow on Varus. No mercy. Another kind of tough thing about playing with the Varus is that, like, he doesn't actually buy AD when you get a kill. So we're not really coming back with, like, an AD damage advantage here. Like, you would with, with, like, if Draven got that kill, he'd, he'd have, like, a Vamp Scepter, you know? The Hawkshot didn't actually spot Nidalee. I mean, I have, I have Ignite now. We can probably look for that same, same play. He's just really, really fast. But luckily, we did uh, not over chase. We saw Diana. Diana Bolt. Always stand in the corner pocket of these bushes, by the way. Like, so many people, like, you're playing against an Ash, he'll shoot the W down the down the middle of the bush, and it'll miss you. Playing against the Thresh, he'll shoot his hook down the middle of the bush. Always stand, like, right here and right here. Yeah, nice damage, nice damage. Doesn't have Q for a while, he has really long cooldowns. He's gonna try to posture and like, aggress onto the Draven when he goes to farm. Just 
Pressure, pressure, pressure. All right, team, you guys got to stop feeding the fizz, please. Gonna be a bit of a problem if we got a fed fizz on our hands. Playing like really, really safe. Not gonna be able to like actually turret dive them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the river, clear out all the vision. Okay. Even shoot this up. See if we can spot Diana. This is one of the advantages of like winning the lane of, of having ha having prios. You get control of the river. You know you can shove them in. Ah, uh, I got your number, don't I, Draven? Okay. Well, you just know the Draven is like tilted. He didn't get to do Draven things this game, so he's he's very very upset. Uh, if we can get Varus's level 6 before this dragon fight, that'd be, like, so huge. Let's get an empowered Q, get the shove in as fast as possible. Fortunately, Varus doesn't actually get 6 off that. We are going to be Alt in mid. But we will rise up Okay. Oh my god, and we- Wait. Varus freaking healed the Aurelia. Props to my Varus for actually using his spells. Let's go. Oh, for reference, I think this game is like somewhere in like Diamond Elo. I think I saw some Diamond players in the loading screen. That's huge, man. I got, I got freaking red buff off that too. I'm getting so close to getting my board. Guys, oh my god, once I get my board, it is just freaking over. That was pretty big. We got the shutdown off of Fizz. We saved our Aurelia. We got Diana's Flash and Alt. Can we just go back and spin here? They're, they're literally just going to like sit under the turret. And Diana's bot anyway, so it's not like we're going to be like looking to coordinate a dive or anything. That would be going pretty bad if we did that. Play it up. All right, this. We'll grab this. I don't have boots, just making it kind of hard to catch like Ash and Draven. But I really just want to like focus on all my gold income on getting my Bork ASAP. Because once you get that, it just like it changes your, it changes everything. It changes all the fights you can take. Oh, This is like such a not good dragon. We should really fall off of wolves and come punish them for it. Onward. Anybody coming? I'm actually gonna die of this Ash. No freaking way. What an alt, bro. Yo, they're so tilted, man. They are so freaking tilted that they didn't kill me there. I'm 5-0 at 10 minutes, by the way. Oh my god. What is going on? All right, we got Bork, we got Boots. All right, check this out, guys, check this out. This is not a Mythic, and look at 40 AD, 25% attack speed, 8% uh, lifesteal, which is just really nice to get in survivability. Attack supply, an additional 12% enemy current health physical damage on hit, and I'm going to be proccing that three times with my Empowered W. Actually crazy. And then attacking a champion three times deals 79 magic damage and steals 25% movement speed, so you also get a little bit of a speed, a little bit of adrenaline kick. that seem balanced, guys? Does that seem balanced? So I used it literally one time there, right? One time, right? 414 damage. Oh! Boom! <laughs> she tried to flash it! She tried to flash it, bro. 
That was sick, man. You never, you don't often get to get actual kills with your ulti. I will remember your name and shout it to the heavens. I am the tip of the spear, raised against surrender. All right, I think I'm gonna try to kill this Draven. This is limit test right here. Stand aside. Guys, this is not balanced. This is not even remotely balanced, bro. Look at this. I've already done 750 damage with it. How? How? I, uh, and the crazy thing is, it's more effective against tanks. I haven't even used it against the tank yet. Hey, Panth. So, Are you Aoki? Wait. Wait. What the fuck? What? Wait, he saw me playing Pantheon and just knows it's me? I love your content. That's so funny, man. I, I'm literally just in solo queue. Oh, how funny is that? He saw me just absolutely out here dominating as Aoki. You are a goaded Senna. Yo, my man. This guy knows what's up. All right, so on top of that, we're going to go Eclipse because it's also really good on your W proc. My favorite YouTuber, dude. That's that's so that's so cool, man. Well, guess what? You're in a video now. <laughs> that's so cool, though. I, I mean, like, it, it's really it's really like humbling and and exciting to like hear that you know I do have fans out there. So, guys, if you if you're ever a fan of someone, an artist, a streamer, an actor, whatever, let let them know you're a fan. It, it's it's a really good feeling. Um, all right. Um, well, let's make sure, uh, let's make sure we win this one now. I think I'm just, they're, they're playing so safe. I think, I think I'm just going to use Empowered Qs as poke here. It's not, it's definitely not great poke. It's not a lot of damage, but. Better than just like sitting back and doing nothing, you know what I mean? Holding on to your empowered W. Tell Zwag. I will that I love him. I will not do that. <laughs> oh, that was really cool. We had like intersecting arrows there. Well, I guess mine's a spear. Often do people recognize you? Mm, not, not super often. I would say like maybe... I don't know really. No way. I really did not think you would get out there. I, I could have played that way better. Like way better. Alright, I, 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 got, I got to focus up. I got to focus up. I'm also about to get dove, so... <laughs> no! No! I, I was out of mana! That was so sloppy, man! No! Whatever, they killed the nine kill support, finally, guys. All right, we're gonna go, I think we go Merc Treads here. So we can't get like one shot by Diana Fizz, Ash Arrow, Mordekaiser, all, I think it's really, really good. It's good. Definitely gonna delay us getting our uh, Eclipse, but. but. Yeah, the Mordekaiser asks, how often do people recognize you? Um, In real life, I've been recognized like, uh, like like four or five times outside of like TwitchCon where it was like I mean a, lo a lot of people knew me there obviously but just like going to like the supermarket and stuff like that that's happened like four or five times I think um and then in game I have no idea it's not it's not like every day but kind of close oh ulti hit him and so I grasp my spear and take 
<laughs> that was cool looking. Stand up. Face me again. So we can also go, um, we can also go Umbral Glaive and get a little bit of vision control. Alright, Mordekaiser are all to me. I'm pretty sure I can just kill him. Oh, Ash is going Umbral Glaive Rush. He didn't even rush her, uh, Imperial. No! Well, I mean, Nidalee kind of baited me there. I, I had to save my Nidalee. Play four dragons. Mord did not use R. As long as you keep playing for dragons, we'll be good, I think. It's getting a little sus. We have a Heartsteel Teemo. That sounds absolutely terrible. Um, and they have a really, really fed Mordekaiser, so... Art Steel Teemo, that, oh man, that is, that does not sound ideal. Um, I got 65 gold before my Mythic. I might just have to stay out for, the, or stay for that, honestly. Yeah, it's, it seems goofy to go out there and like farm one minion and then recall again. Oh, I got a turret, nice. How do I get rid of these take Herald Dragon things? You take them. <laughs> Alright, um what are we doing here guys? We need we need Timo. Yeah, if, it, if it's gonna be like an actual 5v5, we're we're gonna need our heart steal Timo. Hero of the story. Actually, just not coming. Oh, so much for playing for dragons. Well, Heart Steel Teemo just sitting top, huh? That's kind of uh, that's kind of upsetting. I think Timo needed to come. Bit of a bummer, but at least we picked up some kills. It was a four for three, which is honestly kind of a, kind of a good sign that we can almost four v three. He's vibing. Don't disturb him. Got it. Got it. All right, yeah. Look at this though. Two thousand one hundred damage for my Bork. Let's just compare that to other people's mythics. Now remember, this is not a mythic, but other people's mythics have done two hundred seventy six. So I've done ten times as much as him. 85, 0, 63, uh, 396. I mean, it's just, it, and then look at Aurelia has a Bork, 1500 damage. Like, it's crazy. Only I was top. Correct. Right, that, that, that was the problem, bro, is that Mordekaiser came and you didn't. Right? I don't know if that's going to be fast enough. Oh, ulti's too slow. You can only defeat yourself. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do about this one because they kind of have just like complete control of top side. Fine here. Oh, my team is not here. I killed their Mordekaiser, though. Oh, no, my, my, my team's there. There we go, there we go. It's a one for three. That's not bad. Two for three. Two for three. And Timo got his heart steal. Let's go, baby. Rocked it once. Huge. All right, um, let's go. Let's go Edge of Night, I suppose. I, isn't that pretty crazy, though, that I got, like, ulted into the death throne by the fed enemy top laner, and I, like... Almost killed him by myself, and then... <gasps> nice. Oh. 
Oh. How many times? Oh my god! Wait, Aurelia is cracked. Is that the champion being broken or the player being good? I actually have no idea. Come on, come on, Vars, dodge this, dodge this. Wait, we can we can extra turn, we can extra turn. Leave, brother. He already ulted him. He ulted him. Wait, what? Pressing forward is not the same as running from your mistakes. That for real? It was actually so like all unlucky. All right, my Varus obviously died because he was matching my Mordekaiser. Really, it died, dude. Ash flashed out of my W, and then I couldn't find her. And then I was charging up my Q to kill Fizz, and I, I got stunned out of it. They're just using like so many resources for me. Oh boy. Okay, I think we win this though. Draven was super late to it. But once it really gets cooldowns back up, he should be able to kill him here. Oh, never mind. He gets the big, big boy blast cone. Boom! Oh, he made it onto it though. Okay. Ah, oh, we got Draven flash. Nice, 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 nice. It's huge. Get dragon. Good job, guys. Look at this. Three thousand damage from Bork. Actually, just insane. kills on Pantheon support. I am a bit of a menace this game. Ash really did go AD though. That's crazy. Shoujin! No shot that's good on Ash. We are what we overcome. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. That's just an instant one shot, bro. That's just literally instant. We could do Baron. Do Baron or we could just like, uh, just bait. Maybe we just dive this Draven too. We need to be doing something here though. Nice. Take the turret. We see Fizz behind us. Yo, Timo got his second heart steal proc, baby. He's scaling. Nice far assault. Uh, let's look at the Ash. Where'd Ash go? Where'd that Ash go? I reset. Back out. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna go Umbral. Maybe we do go um Uh, Edge of Night's pretty nice though. Ah, let's go Umbral. Umbral. Dude, what a freaking fun game this turned into though. No! Heartsteel Teemo! Why? Flash the wall, Teemo. Run, little guy. How funny would it have been if Nidalee just rocketed him back into the team with the blast code? <laughs> there is no oh. I don't know if my stun went through or not. Okay. 
Are you kidding me? This guy really gonna like stall us out for like 30 seconds. I just got hit by an ash arrow. I'm ulting mid. He will back me up, bro. Whatever. She was annoying me. Is that worth my flash? Probably not. 4,600 damage from Bork, by the way, guys. Balanced? Balanced? I'm thinking it might not be. Oh, really is, uh, sending it. Okay, really, I see you, bro. I see you. Probably pressure this bot turret. Oh, they got it. They got OBJ bounties now, baby. Oh, they just FF'd. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't going to get any better for them. We were, we had dragon control. We had baron control at that point. Let's take a look at this damage chart though, guys. Because remember, we are playing Pantheon support. Emphasis on the support, all right? So let's see. Let's see how this went. But yeah, Bork, Bork Pantheon just completely shatters the kneecaps of Season 13, especially because there's more tanks being built. Surprisingly, I didn't do the most damage, but this Aurelia deserved it. She she did about 1,000, 1,500 damage more than me. Uh, so there it is. There's the itemization and runes if you want to try this out. Again, I would probably swap out Sudden Impact, although it seemed to do quite a bit too. Uh, Cheap Shot probably would have done like two or 300 more, more damage. But yeah, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build and strat down in the comments. And yo, shout out to that Diana. Uh, she's a fan. Much love, GGs, and take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, boys. No, no, no. We fight it. We fight it. We actually just fight it. Just fight it. Just fight it. Blitz no hook. Hit Alawi. Oh, no flash. Blitz is almost one. Okay. We just keep going. Just keep going, boys. We don't stop. We do not stop. We win the game here, boys. We win the game here, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Am I an idiot? <laughs> yeah, baby. The Block me, dude. You're Garrett. What the Whoa. Heck? Whoa. Purple, blue, orange. Okay. Blue I, for the next five color changes. I, I think, okay. I think Hayden just donated five to change it, but then Xiaomi just donated 25 to change it to, wait, what was it? What do you want it to be? I'm sorry, Hayden. I'm sorry. Thank you for the five, though. I appreciate you. It 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 goes to a good cause. Me. Hayden, don't cry. Don't cry, Hayden. Hayden, we'll we'll change. Hayden, what color do you want it? We'll change it to yours for a while, and then we'll then we'll change it to what Jami wants. Oh, stop crying! You're making me feel bad. Pink? Alright. It doesn't do pink and purple like super well. That's as pink as it gets. I don't know why pink and purple, it just doesn't, it just doesn't do it. It's pink in our hearts though. Kind of purple? Yeah. I mean, that's what happens when I push the pink button. Other than pink and purple, it does all colors pretty well, though. Yeah, it's, it's colorblind pink. True. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's what that's why. Okay. I mean we could actually kill Lisa in here. Now oh, we can kill Blitzcrank actually. Oh! 
Oh my god, I almost actually lived. We went down swinging. That was a true warrior's death. That was a freaking warrior's death, guys. I'm happy with that. We have 1,800 gold. We're going to go for Borky Bork. Grab that. Grab boots. Oh, we're, we're, we're sitting pretty here. Hey, for real though. Guys, give me some Aoki loots in the chat for Hayden's $5 and Jami's $25. Thank you. Where's my boots? Okay. I got robbed. They literally like took my boots on the way out, I think. If I said you didn't buy boots, no, I did, bro. I did. They just didn't give them to me. That seems a little forced there, Groggy. Maybe not. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! He's doing it! Remember, this is our four fun guy game, guys. We're four funning. I want to go for risky plays. I watched the clip. You miss clicking boots. Guys, don't listen to this dude. He doesn't know what he's talking about. There's a lot of misinformation spreaders out there, guys. Make sure you make sure you, you check your sources before you take information from Twitch chat, okay? This white Kong guy is like a known. He's like he's like a flat earther. He's an anti-vaxxer, like. After my six month sub ins, I'm done. <laughs> See guys, even even that isn't true. There's no way. There's no way he's gonna unsub. He's he's spreading misinformation even still. Another lie from known liar White Kong. You don't even know how to unsub? See, guys? See? They don't know what they're talking about. You got a new pet today? Oh my god. What is it? Is it a doggy? Chinchilla? You guys know what chinchillas are? Bro, when I was in fourth grade, our class had a pet chinchilla. And it would get loose all the time. So we would have to, like... But they're like, they're like weird hamsters. They're like Brazilian hamsters or something. So they're like really skittish. And if you try to chase them, they like run away. And like we had this like ventilation system. It would always go into and hide. And we would just have to keep a lookout for it. And we'd like, if we saw it, we'd have to like slowly raise our hands and be like, uh, Mrs. Teacher, I see the chinchilla. And she'd be like, okay, nobody move. Anyways. Chinchillas are pretty cool. Got a red-legged tortoise. Yo, that's sick, man. Yo, this is for me, right? My god, he actually just gave me the freaking buff. Yo, Luciano. Gonna roam with alt? I don't know, bro. We're just playing for fun this game. I don't want. I don't want to think about anything too hard. I'm just vibing, guys. I'm vibing with Twitch, Twitch chat right now. Oh. <gasps> 
I just missed my empowered Q. I can't kill him now. I should just miss my empowered Q. I'm such a noob. Nah, I can still kill him. I can still kill him. Just have to put a little razzle dazz into it. You know what I mean? Does empowerment even do? When I stack up my passive, which I get by using abilities and auto attacking. Oh, you want to get embarrassed, bro? Want to get embarrassed, bro? Um, then your your next ability is empowered when this is like the thing under my health bar is red. Like your Q does more damage. Your W gives you three empowered autos after it. Your E lasts longer. Makes you really fast. It's not, dude, it's not even fair. It's not even fair having me on the team. I'm not even joking. Give me a GSA in the chat, boys. GSA in the chat. 99.8% of supports choke under the pressure there, but I never choke. GSA. You're exactly right, Taz Tatter. Think of the 37 months, bro. Uh oh. Oh no, Lucian. Oh no, Lucian. Oh no, Lucian. Oh no, Lucian. You're playing with fire, Aoki. No, buddy. You don't understand. I am fire. You guys want to see how broken uh, Bork is, by the way? Bork Pantheon. I'm going to walk up here. I'm going to uh, empower W this Alawi. My Bork's going to do 700 damage. Because you instantly get the uh, the three hit passive with it. Watch. Tell me how balanced this is, guys. Watch this. Eh. Four hundred ten. Why did it do more? But yeah, liter just literal one shot. Just literal one shot. Oh, I don't have my Bork up. I don't have my Bork up. Still did 800 damage though. 800 damage total. Probably would have won if I had the uh, the siphon up. Uh, we're gonna go Eclipse. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Schmoofs. Oh. So close.
I can just dive this guy. You guys ready? Achilles! Swear to God, when you yell Achilles after you charge up your Q, it increases the accuracy and damage. If I yelled it there, it would have actually one shot him. Achilles! Oh, you ruined that for me, bro. Nine, two, and eight. Not bad for Pantheon support. Looking like a pretty juicy alt top. Oh? I don't think you can kill her. Oh, you definitely can't kill her now. I'm coming in though. I can kill her. I can kill her. I can kill her. Nah, bro. I think they nerfed Bork too, didn't they? And it still does this much damage. That was one of the items they nerfed, right? Aiki, you don't play Leon anymore? I do. Just in certain scenarios. Achilles! I griefed. That, that was me griefing. I literally just griefed. Isn't Bork passive only available at level 9 or 10? No. I've already done 2,000 damage with it. Just to like really show you guys how broken the item is, let's look at other people's mythics. Now my legendary item, which I've used like 5 or 6 times, 2,000 damage. His mythic has done 871. Her mythic 652. His mythic 156. 856. Like... Item is just not balanced. And now I got Eclipse, so... Eclipse is gonna proc, and my, uh... My Bork. These guys ain't allowed to step anywhere. They're DPing. I did 400 damage with it there. Thank you. <gasps> My guard damage. What the heck? to kill her with ulti. That would have been so cool. Hoping Ayuki plays some jungle one day. His map awareness and prediction is out of this world. Maybe someday. Honestly, if we were to ever do like another off roll climb, it definitely be would be mid. I need to practice like jungle a lot to be as good as like my potential. But, I don't know, jungle just does like, it, it just doesn't really like... It just doesn't interest me. Like, there's not really like any champions in jungle that I, I'm like, dude, oh, I should really play them. Like, I guess like, Elise would be fun. Upset. That was an emotional alt. 
And if it wasn't, he's very emotional now. Jungle's kind of hard sometimes, but I'm also not Aoki. Yeah, I'm definitely, like, jungle's definitely not, like, a role where I'm just like, oh, yeah, dude, I could pick up that role and just, like, dominate. Same thing with top. Like, mid, I, like, we, I, e even in the very short time that we started playing, like, mid lane Mondays, I feel like I, I was, like, I, I, I could climb on mid for sure. But jungle's a whole other ball game. I know, I know what I want from my jungle. But, I don't know, I definitely don't, don't think I could just, like, pick that roll up. You know, I, I give it, like, two weeks. I'm sure I'd be just, like, demolishing people on it, but. You guys really aren't FFing, bro. You have the warrior spirit inside of them. Love that. I'm, I'm down to fight this. Uh oh, he, he knocked me out of my, my stun. Ah, oh, bye-bye. I mean, like, I think in terms of, like, me playing jungle, I think I would be one of those junglers that's really, really good when they're ahead. Like, when they have, like, one or two, like, hard-winning lanes and they can get away with, like, super aggro plays. Like, for instance, like, I've played, like, a million games with Tarzan. And Tarzan is just, like, he's unmatched if he has winning lanes. Like, because he can just go for the most psychotic, aggressive plays and they work. But the second you give him, like, two losing lanes or even one hard losing lanes... It, it, it's a different ball game. I feel like I would be one of those junglers. That if you give me an inch, I'll, I'll take a mile. But if I'm behind, I probably would not handle that very well. Or if like I just don't, if there just aren't opportunities, I want to be a player capable of like making them for the team from that role. go we send in it baby we send it up baby send it Broken, rotate on support and gank lanes, levels above him, Ayuki's being modest. No, I'm just, I'm just being realistic. Like, I jungle, I've, I've played literally, like, literally 10 games of jungle in my life, if that. I think I made, like, a couple videos of, like, Leona jungle one time, but, nah, I, I just, I, I'm, it's just not a, a role that I could feel like I could pick up and just excel at immediately. But, you know, you put me in a position where I'm three levels up on everyone. Like, I, like, I, I'm not, like, downplaying how well we play this game. But, like, if I'm in Echo's position here, I, I pop off. And I 1v9. Every time. Dang, I'm gonna die. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I feel like you'd be a Zack jungle main. Nah. I don't know. Guys, give me a 9 in the chat if you'd be interesting and interested in seeing like a Jungle the Diamond series. Wow. Wow. Okay, you guys, you guys really want to see me play Jungle. God dang. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I'd get it. 
but like it's not like where I was walking into the ADC challenge like filled to the brim with confidence like oh yeah this 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 role is easy I don't think jungle's an easy role ADC is an easy role Maybe. Maybe we'll think about it. I don't know. I really just thought like the, our next off-roll to diamond climb would be mid. I think that one would be better suited for me. Well, hello, Alawi. Oh, you want that cannon, bro? <laughs> that looked fun. That's interesting. It treats her tentacles as... So your E works like you need to be facing the source of the damage. But I just put my shield towards Alawi and even her tentacles weren't doing damage to me. So it counts her tentacles as like the source of the damage is Alawi. That's that's interesting. Doink. Achilles! Guys, 17, 4, and 14. I'm not even gonna lie. I had my brain off like this entire game. I was literally just talking to chat and we just had like an insane 1v9. A bad. A bad, baby. Um, all right, let's take a look at the damage charts here. Yeah, nice little 32k, 34k, 2v9. You guys watch this on youtube let me know what you guys think of the build strat and if you guys want to see me do a jungle to diamond challenge down in the comments take it easy boys peace out hey guys what is up ioki here bringing you oh my god he couldn't even make it through the intro anyways what is up boys and girls ioki here bringing you some pantheon support gameplay in season 13 and i am playing pantheon support for one reason alone i am tired of losing i am tired of Letting my teammates decide my destiny. This champion is going to put your destiny in your own hands. He is one of the hardest carrying, easiest to play, hyper carrying 1v9 supports uh, ever in the history of League of Legends. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to absolutely abuse it to just straight up win every single game. So if you're the type of support player that is getting frustrated, you know, locking in Soraka and Sona and Yumi and, you know, praying to God that you have the better team, pick this champion and play like this. But yeah, by the end of this game, you are going to know how to absolutely hyper freaking carry as Pantheon support. He's got great roams. He's got great carry potential. Insane damage. We're going to be showing you guys a really OP build with it as well. And yeah, so we're going to be looking to go in at level uh, 2. We need our level 2 to uh, actually bring the damage to make him flash out. Going too early at level 1. We're not going to be able to kill him. Oh, that's kind of weird. I W'd the Kog'Maw, but then the Empowered Autos went on to Soraka. I didn't even know you could do that. It's kind of neat. Lay it up. Level 2 kill, boys. Never let Pantheon jump you like that. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you guys the absolute highest carry potential playstyle. So you want to just jump on them. Do not give them a second to think. Do not give them a second to breathe or react. Alright? So we're going to get that. We got that kill going. Nice. Got Kog'Maw's uh, flash and heal. And we're going to go back. We're going to buy boots. And we're going to go do it the top lane. Or mid lane. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I I've just had, like, an insanely bad string of luck and poor mental. And, and I I'm sure you guys have seen it a little bit. But just over the past couple weeks, I feel like my teams have been, like, actually griefing me. So you know what? We're playing Pantheon. We're taking it into our own hands. We're going to take over this map. We're going to use our point and click stun to just absolutely des delete people. Clear out this ward. Alright, I want to hit mid lane now. Always want to keep track of like where your jungler's at and where their jungler's at. Mm, he's just going to jump. Oh, and Nunu filled the... That's okay. That's okay. Um, 
We won't actually be able to kill the Soraka. We want to try to gank this Annie, but the lane is just so... Wave is just so close to her turret. I think we're going to shove this in. What is this guy? Bro, what? You guys see what I'm talking about? Like... Actually, just feels like my teammates are out to get me recently. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. We're not thinking like that today. Won't be able to get anything there. Kha'Zix wants me to jump on him. We're down, we're down in numbers here. I just don't think we fight this. Nunu going for Buck Crab. Kha'Zix still kind of like circling it around. Ooh, that didn't spot me. Dude, junglers take crabs so fast these days. There you go, Katie Kins. Kate wants to win, boys. Should have rolled through here. Could have hit Soraka here. Um, we can play for Dragon. Just want to queue to get my Empowered procced up. We've got mid prio. Our ADC is backing. This might be a little risky, but we've got Nunu for the secure. There's mid's backing as well, huh? Yeah, I can't do it without mid. Unless Kha'Zix path top. Yeah, he didn't path top though. We needed our mid to come. All good. Vision of it. I don't... Oh. Yeah, out of that. Oh my god. She's actually going to kill me. Yo. Alright. That's fine. Maybe team carries. There we go. Kill the Kha'Zix. Nice. We got that. All right, so I'm going, to go, I'm going to be going for Bork first item, guys. Oops, I bought one too many long swords. It's okay. Got a little sword collection. All right, finally, our mid lane is moving. It's looking good. There's Annie's flash. Soraka's flash. Just coming right back to the fight. Hit the support once these, like, really, really scrappy early games, by the way. May not look like it because we died there, but... Hit the does really, really well in these, like, high-tempo fights. Jesus Christ, man. It's okay. We are playing Pantheon support. We will carry. Do you guys see what I'm talking about, though? I will carve my scars into the heavens. Um, I think Kha'Zix is going to be doing this again. I got a little bit of solo XP. We're going to go down here. Okay, he's not doing it. A little solo kill there. Support killing the ADC. The power of Pantheon, guys. Alright, uh, let's go back. He's got the dragon soloed. Good job. Alright, I can I can somewhat rely. Oh. I mean you've got Nunu Q smite. He actually cannot outsmite you. There you go. And if we if we collapse on this, this is good. Why are we snowballing away, bro? We're gonna die here, but it's gonna be a two for one. And I'm okay with that. I am always down to die for positive trades. Alright, we're gonna go Swifties. Beautiful, good stuff. I think if Dudu just snowballed in from the get go, that would have been much better, but. We shall start the fight in his stead, guys. All right, so four runes got press the attack, and there's a reason for that. Your empowered W auto 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 is gonna proc that instantly. Same thing with the Bork. It's got that three hit passive where your W auto 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 is just gonna absolutely melt them. We got triumph, a little bit of gold, a little bit of uh, health, legend tenacity. Since we're not gonna be planning to build uh, merc treads, we got cheap shot, Kudi grass, relentless hunter, so we can get around the map faster. These are all just like really really good aggro runes for this guy. Alright, we want to be here to pick up the kill. Oh. Nice. Guess there's no kill to pick up. 
Yeah, we're getting mixed results so far, but hopefully you can already see, like, how this style of, like, support is much better than just, like, locking in an enchanter bot lane and, like, sitting and hoping and praying. Not worth. Power will be your undoing. Taking over Dragon. We're taking over Rift. We're hopefully tilting this Kha'Zix. Oh, right here, right here. Easy. I might need our help. Oh, so close. Oh, I actually missed my Q. Dang, she actually like jumped out of my Q. Alright, we're gonna push this in for him. Boom. With those empowered Qs, got some nice wave clear. Alright. Alright, now the game's going the way we want it to. Awesome. We're 4 2 and 2 at 10 minutes. Caitlyn takes the opportunity to 2v1. That's fine. Nunu, play with me. I got you, bro. Me, me and Nunu are getting good stuff done. I like this. Said I got you. Let's go, man. Sorry, I'm a little squishy right now. All, all good. Um, actually, two v one this. Nah, not on the word. I can almost one shot them, but just like not quite yet. Once I get my Bork, I can literally just like flash on that Srock and one shot. So in order to take destiny into your own hands, you got to be a leader. You got to be a shot caller. You got to communicate with your jungler. Got to make plays. Got to be proactive rather than reactive. Someone coming? I got his alt. That's pretty good. Got Kha'Zix's alt. Up's just like trading kills back and forth. It's kind of scary. Right, we, could, we, we should just like Rift Herald mid. Uh. Nice. I'm not going to lie. That was, that was a little suspect. I'm glad we did it though. Okay. Rift Herald. Then reset for Dragon. Press B. Oh my god, it feels good to have teammates to listen. Or at least a teammate. Alright, um... So this, we can almost get our Bork, man. If I was coming into this dragon fight with my our Bork, the game would literally already be over. A ulti for it. Yasuo is on Mythic. Our Yasuo is like dumpstring their Annie. Try to ult in behind this Kog'Maw. I just don't know who's behind him is the thing. Yeah, he's, he's acting a little scared. We can try it. We can try it. Yep, he has to... His Q's it. Oh, his Q's missing. Beautiful. Now we do the dragon. All right, Kha'Zix down here. Yeah, we could just do Dragon. We, we, we don't have to play into them. Not a big fan of that. We just do Drag here. Okay. Soraka actually kills me. Well, it is what it is. We needed our Caitlyn to come up to the dragon. She didn't, so then the play... I don't think we can do dragon without it. Man, I really wish I had my Bort coming into that, though. We would have, like, actually shredded so fast. All good, though. Um, We're going to go for Bork into Eclipse. So it's kind of, like, a little weird that you're not building your Mythic first. But honestly, Riot has been, like, really, really incentivizing for players to not do uh, Mythic first. Like, there's so many good builds on so many champions right now that... 
You either don't build a mythic at all or you don't build it first. This is about to get really sloppy. Man, I've got I've got Bork now. Oh, so close. Okay, we're gonna get him here. Nice. There we go, baby. Dude, that's huge. Come on, come on, maybe. All right, th this is getting a little too fiesta e. You'll get rift. God, how freaking cool is this skin though? I mean, I've got my empowered W. If she jumps in, I actually just like shred her with Bork. Bork and PTA. Bye bye. Goodbye, Nunu. <laughs> you cannot outrun death, my friend. Um, this guy was wanting to do Rift Herald. I think we go back. I my bad. All good. Ah, uh, maybe we stay for Kha'Zix. Pretty low mana. That's just Annie. We, we zone here, though. Can't one-shot me. All right, now we go back. Dude, look at this. 800 damage from Bork already. Like, it's just, it's just not a balanced item at all. Really, really insane. At least I die a man. All right, let's start looking for alties on Kogmo. This is actually a really, really close game, guys. Give this, give this video a thumbs up if you think we're gonna win the game. I'll, I want to see the believers right here, right now. Alt in a little bit behind them. Bork, PTA, boom, boom, E. Could Yumi do that? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Why did he say that? Enjoy the lost game, idiot. Oh my god. You just made the thumbnail. Literally lost because you did that. Yo, this guy is on something. I wield my fate as a weapon. That's crazy he says that. Nice, nice, nice. We can actually kill. Hmm, did I just lose the game because I did that? I wonder. <laughs> This is funny. Hello. Bye bye. Oh, so close, baby. Oh, he knocked up Timbers. All right, give me the cannon. We go back. We just keep playing for dragons. All we got to do is play for dragons. I don't. I don't want to fight this. It's too close to the turret. Fifteen hundred damage from Bork. Absolutely insane. Ah, six had free gold. All bought. Bought all game and decided to camp a riven. So, are we still gonna lose or? Did he change his mind? You will lose though? Alright, 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 bet. We will see. We'll see, broski. <laughs> oh, I, I love it when enemy ADCs type. I didn't even say anything to that guy, like... Wait till I finish my call. Oh, man. Wait till he finishes his call, guys. Oh.
actually can't kill him through Soraka. I right, was just back out. It's hard when Yasuo keeps going in. Alright, need anti-heal. Got dragon very soon. Go ahead and take the scuttle. Don't really need to back for Eclipse, but I guess I could. I could back, grab Eclipse, and then alt into the fight. This has been a fun game. Oh? Oh! Wait, he just prowlers through a trap. Oh? I got the flank? I got the flank! Boom! Bro. Oh. Ain't no freaking way. Achilles! <laughs> Guys, it's a proven fact. that when you do the Q charge throw, you if you yell Achilles, it literally does more damage and has a higher accuracy rate. Do you guys know that? Like, that's real. That's an actual fact. Point two thousand damage with Bork. <laughs> we are privileged to breathe. We are privileged to breathe. Dude, Pantheon honestly has some like freaking banger voice lines too. I actually just love this champion. Oh. Bro, I've had so many of my Q stabs like dodged or flashed or dashed out of. Dodge that. Kill Timbers, bro! Oh my god. Almost got betrayed by my team. Nice. Uh, I mean, honestly, we could probably do Baron there, but uh, let's go. Probably, probably Ghost Blade. I would say. Right, right. Got Dragon Soul to play for. Three and a half minutes. Oh no. Achilles! No way! See, I didn't say it with my chest there, so it didn't kill her. That, that was a really weak Achilles, and you know it. Alright, I have a 1k gold shutdown. I should probably, like, not die ever again. And, oh, he's typing again! He's typing again! Yes. Try to defend my Mordekaiser here. Airdrop. That's insane damage, by the way. We just do Baron. We just do Baron. Bro, the airdrop Pantheon combo is just so nuts. 3,500 damage with a non-mythic item, by the way. All right. Team is actually listening. No chill. How's your call coming? <laughs> Alright. We use this Baron to get Dragon only. I only care about Dragon Soul here, guys. Not take Ego fights before Dragon. Only play for Dragon. All right, here we go, boys. 13, 3, and 8. 
It's gonna take blue buff. Mm, actually down to the straight up duel this Riven. Ain't no way you're trying. What? I have found my limit a thousand times. Oh my god! Yo, that was that wasn't even what. Actually alive, no freaking way. Oh my god. I just had I just dueled their level 14 top laner with the assistance of Soraka, just got flashed on by their mid laner and still soared majestically through the air to survive that. That was so insane. That's nuts. Alright, and now we get what we've played the entire game for, guys. The moment it all comes down to. Here we go, baby. There it is. The Dragon Soul. Rock has stole two kills. Yeah, those two kills really made the difference, man. Okay. I don't know if she's paying attention or what, but just hitting the dr hitting the turret. Achilles! Beautiful. I think it's gonna be game, honestly. Dude, we did it, boys. We broke our loss spree. Turns out all we needed to do was lock in Pantheon all along. Ow! Team! Ah, whatever. We flew a little too close to the sun there. Alright, run him down, run him down. Um, as for my last item, I think we just go like Sorelda's Grudge or Edge of Night. Probably Edge of Night. Kind of counters Annie's whole thing. Dude, 5.5 thousand damage from Bork. How nuts is that, man? That's actually wacky. I'm telling you, man. The, no the non- the non-mythic building future is here. Alright, we have all three all three inhibs. I mean, like, I'm kind of down to just stall, stall this game out and play for Elder. The twilight of the gods comes each morning. When hey, yo. Shines brighter than the stars. <laughs> the airdrop pantheon never fails. Boom. Oh! No, 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 Nice. Alright, that's four down. That's uh, about to be five down. Oh, baby! <laughs> nice little, uh, W to the minion. Close the gap. Hit him with the spear. Nice try, Cog. 
GG, man. GG. 18, 4, 13. There it is, guys. If you're tired of losing, lock in freaking Pantheon support, all right? This guy will take your game to the next level. He has such insane map control as a support. You can roam. You can solo kill ADCs. You can you can tilt their ADCs into, into you know, tilt typing. GG's, boys. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the um, damage charts. Here we go. Oh, yeah. 38,000 damage. The closest on their team was 22k. That's actually insane. So any of you, anyways, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build strat down in the comments. Boys, take it easy. Peace. Uh... Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here bringing you one of the hardest carrying champions in the entire game in the support position. And that is going to be Pantheon. Guys, we got a brand new kind of like ideology of like playing this champion. And it's something that we've been starting to see on a lot of champions, such as uh, I made a video on No Mythic Senna. So we're going to be playing No Mythic Pantheon today. Going to be showing you guys why it's actually better than Mythic Pantheon. And uh, just showing you guys how broken these items are, despite them not being mythics. Like, um, so basically the entire build, the itemization, the runes, they're all going to revolve around uh, Pantheon's Empowered W, where he jumps on them, stuns them, and then obviously does uh, Empowered Attacks like that. Three of them really fast. So we're going to be building items that basically... Uh, enhance those three empowered auto attacks we're going to be just literally one shotting off of the w uh so first of all our rune which is press the attack obviously that helps us a lot um since it's going to be increasing the uh damage that they take after you hit that w and then we're going to be building bork into black cleaver oh bye it's that easy boys now he's dead too Boom. Easy, baby. Don't ever try to fight a Draven Pantheon lane, bro. This has to be like one of the scariest lanes of the entire game. So we just flashed on him level two. Pretty easy. They did technically make it to level two, but they pretty much died level one. But uh, yeah, guys, we're going to be playing. I mean, already like, look at this. Press the attack. Uh, 104 damage. We fought them one, like, what, twice now? So it's just absolutely insane. And we're going to be seeing the same level of efficiency out of Bork and Black Cleaver, since they both have effects that, like, you know, you get more out of them if you hit them three times. So, four runes, guys. We got Press the Attack, we got Triumph, we got Legend Tenacity, Coup de Grass, Sudden Impact, or Relentless Hunter, and then AD, AD Armor. Um, I would probably, like, typically be looking for a roam here, but I don't know. Zoe into Gangplank, and they're already under the turret. It's kind of hard to, kind of hard to gank that guy. And since we are in such, like, a volatile lane with, like, you know, Two squishy marksmen. I think it's just better for me to spend my time down here. Oh, see, I should have ganked here. I should have ganked mid because I could have been there for the counter gank. It's all good, though. Now, we're only level two, but I'm pretty sure we can still just kill this MF. Not too far. He's saying no. Sitting the minions that we can here. It's going to crash. Um, I... I'm gonna loop around here again. Just because I'm pretty sure they're gonna get really, really nervous. Whenever I disappear. And I kinda like that. The past with me. Yep. Now she walked up to the lane. I think we're just all in here. If I could find Twitch, I would've, I would've gone on to him, but... I don't know. So I was afraid of w onto the EMF and then Twitch just open fires on Draven. It's that easy, boys. God, okay, like, seriously, this champion, like, it carries lane so freaking hard. And it doesn't even, like, fall off, like, as hard as something like Pike. So you literally just get to be, like, strong for the rest of the game, especially with the build that we're going to be going. Uh, I've definitely found that this build actually scales even better than, uh, like, I don't know, like, Eclipse is, like, it definitely is, like, a power spike item when you first get it. But the efficiency of it just seems to, like, totally fall off. As the game goes on, but it really does not feel like Bork or uh, Black Cleaver fall off. And I really like the Black Cleaver idea because uh, it's like a little bit of a defensive item as well. And it's a team item because it like shreds their armor for everybody. So yeah, that's the build, guys. No Mythic Pantheon. I think you're going to be absolutely blown away by just how freaking hard this can carry. Uh, I've, I've been experimenting with Bork into Eclipse, but I think I'm just going to like fully embrace the, 
the no mythic pantheon lifestyle. I've gotta be on a I was gonna say I've gotta be on a ward here. Oh, Elise is here. Should be fine. Elise might repel into a cocoon, but we've got Nunu down here. We could actually probably kill him. I wanna get my empowered ability ready. So I'm just gonna cue the wave. Elise is 100% still in that bush. Easy, baby. It is six to zero. Oh my god, these guys are getting slaughtered. Uh, let's get this plate just so the gold doesn't go to waste. So, guys, when you get a pick like this that turns into an objective, you don't want to like literally all do the objective. Like, you want to like maximize. You want to have just as many people as it actually takes to do the objective, and then the rest of you, like, yeah, like Zoe goes back to mid. Like, I go bot and get the plate. If I had a ward, I'd be like going into the jungle and getting like deep vision. You want to maximize, like, the effect of how much that MF pick gave you, you know what I mean? <laughs> you are joking me. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm actually straight up blocking the ignite with my E. It's kind of crazy you can do that. Very nice. I've got flash soon. I can maybe flash onto this guy. Mm. I think I can kill him, honestly. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna greed here, I think. He's got 500 HP. I've got ignite 150. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Ah, it's too greedy. Too close to the turret. And MF is here now. Got a big shutdown on me as well. Plus, I don't want to, like, it, it, I can't be the first person on our team to die. You know what I mean? It always just feels like, like, the first person to die is just, like, such a loser. Like, everyone just, like, points and laughs at him. But already, man, like, look at the PTA damage, bro. 500 damage from my keystone. That's insane. All right, Nunu going super, super deeps. Um, not crazy about that because Twitch could probably just collapse, but it looks like Elise is actually topside, so he's fine. Just gonna flash on her. Blowing flash like that is just always good. <laughs> Look, she's tilted, she's tilted. We just dive her here. Yum. Boom. Probably didn't need to do like all that. Probably could have just walked up and W'd her, but it, it looked cooler if I like came sailing out of the air like a, like a meteor. Um, they are going to get quite a lot mid. Oh, they're going to get the entire turret actually. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying something like, Aoki, I bet you wish you had your ulti now, didn't, don't you? Well, no, if I ulti into this, I'm pretty sure I just insta-die. Wow. They actually just straight up take the turret. Yo, Rift Herald's broken. Not quite as broken as Pantheon support, but pretty broken. All right, let's go, but. Always be tap charging your Q. Then on a lower cooldown, you can walk around basically with your empowered auto up. You basically just, or uh, yeah, you just always want to have your empowered W ready in case you find someone. Not going to be able to kill her, but I can clear out her vision. Yeah, she's just going to play so far away from me. She knows I'm a menace, bro. All right, I need 600 gold for my Borg. Dude, it is actually 9 to 0. This, this is like crazy. 
Who who's gonna be the the one to mess it up, guys? Oh, is it Zoe? Close. What? Wait, what? Draven just killed Elise. Huh? And I'm gonna go behind the turret because I feel like she's just gonna give this plate up. I could just dive. We can just dive, bro. I guess we can't just dive. Uh, definitely should have just waited for the wave, but you know what? I'm impatient, bro. I'm impatient. I don't care. If he gives me the turret gold, I can get my Bork. But I don't think he, I'm going to get it. Nah, it's going to take too long. Ah, and Elise is there. Yeah, definitely should have just waited for the wave. We probably could have died for, dove for free, gotten the turret, and then I'd have my Bork. But I got a little, uh, a little too ahead of myself. MF is fed now. She's one in five, bro. Relax. Like, yeah, I did give her a shutdown, but like, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's see if we can uh, actually smite this dragon as Nunu. Actually, can I just kill her? I can. Oh. Dude, that MF slow is crazy. I have found my limit a thousand times. Nice try on the escape there, lady. Alright, we go back, we get Bork. Bork, Bork. I love Pantheon support, bro. It's like it's like so brain dead, easy to play, yet so insanely efficient. By the way, the, the Bork like rush is starting to spread. Like, there's already a lot of top laners, a couple junglers that are doing it. Now it's starting to spread to supports. Like I'm telling you, like watch how freaking crazy this is when I W onto someone. Okay. So just in that one instance, we did 307 damage with it. That's crazy. And that was against a squishy target, and it does percent current health damage. So like against an actual tank, like against like a set or someone, it's gonna do even more. The twilight of the gods comes uh, each morning when our world shines bright. MF's gonna be back in here. Oh, she backed over there. Alright, uh, we get- Oh no, the cannon, the cannon, the cannon! No! My cannon. I see at least hop. It is not why I fight, but who I fight for. I think we need to take this turret and, like, get out of this lane. I'll turn then rift. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm gonna try to fight Gangplank. I'm two levels down. There is literally like no reason this should ever work, but we're gonna see if it does. Oh my god. It's just not balanced, bro. Like, it's actually just not balanced. Like, I'm literally two levels down. And look at this. Once again, only hit him one time with it. 750 damage from Bork. Like, how is this balanced, man? Like, how actually is Bork balanced? It's dead. Kill the Elise. Oh. Oh, thank God he missed that. Ha. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. The PTA, the freaking Bork going off is just too much. I did like 500 damage with Bork there on my W. Like, it, it, it's just nonsense, bro. It's nonsense.
block her Q. Oh, nice. Two, three. I got my assist, that's all I want. Got my assist. All right, now we start building Black Cleaver, baby. Dude, it is 22 to four. We have to do a little bit of limit testing so that they don't FF. Dude, what I've realized recently is that like every time that I'm ahead, I mean, this game we're ahead like a lot, right? But like every time that I'm like even mildly ahead, it feels like the enemy team FFs. So I like, I never get to play like the fun part of the game, which is like being ahead. But if I'm ever behind, like I'm just usually not that the type of player to like FF. Like I just don't. So I'm like in these like grueling 38 minute games. I'm sure you guys have seen me play them. <laughs> too easy, man. Too easy. Oh, I, I seriously love Pantheon so much, though. Oh, no. Wait, I wonder if I can kill this guy. This runs the other way, I think. I got him. I got him. Good effort on the stun, though, bro. I think he actually can pull me out of that uh, W stun if he timed that just like slightly differently. I do not set the pace. I race against it. All right, I got 350 gold before I get my uh, my black cleaver. Ah, uh, this one might be a little empty. should have used my E instead of my Q. If I used my E, if I played that right, I would have gotten the kill. But I was so low on mana that like I had so much stuff like running through my head there. Big shut down. All right, Mundo, let's see what you got, bro. Mundo is just, it, it, he is just in there, man. He is just freaking in there. But I don't think he died. Oh, he does die. All right, my team, my team uh, cleans up though. Not bad, not bad. Get another dragon. Swing. Go top. I want another duel, bro. I don't care that you're two levels up on me. It was a fluke that you won last time. No, 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 no. He doesn't get out. He does not get away. I know he ran this way. Where did you go, bro? Where did you go, man? No! What? How did he get out? He must have ran down. I'm so sad. Okay, 2200 damage from my uh, Bork, though. How, how, like, what in the world? <laughs> All right, well, maps seem in a little empty. Are they just like hiding in their base now or what? I'm so glad they locked in like Twitch and MF though. Like what Like what a fun lane to bully. All right, we got Black Cleaver. Who needs tier two boots, guys? Now we're going to be just absolutely shredding their armor. Maximum 30% armor reduction. So dealing physical damage to a champion applies a stack of 5% armor reduction. And since we're going to be uh, hitting him three times, we just like instantly stack it basically. Oh, un unlucky flash there, bro. Unlucky flash. But we will rise up in spite of them. I'm going in. Gangplank. Want this, bro? The people cry out for strength that is already there. 
I told you it was a fluke, man. I told you it was a fluke. Let's go, baby. Can literally just like <laughs> duel their level 13 mid laner. Into the FF combo, of course. A um, little bit of a shorter game, but I did want to show you guys the uh, the future of Pantheon builds, which is just no mythic. Um, I genuinely think that this is better for him. Uh, and I just think that as a whole, we're starting to see the game uh, balance shift away from, you know, every champion has to rush their mythic. Every champion has to, uh, you know, buy Eclipse or Dustblade or Kraken, you know, whatever um, their mythic is. We're starting to see uh, items like Umbral Glaive. We're starting to see items like Anti-Heal, uh, Bork, Black Cleaver start to come into a lot more prominence in terms of like you can buy these items and you're not like you're, you're not railroaded into mythics. And I think we're going to see a lot more of that going into season 13. But uh, there's the damage charts, guys. Surprisingly, uh, Set on the enemy team did the most damage, which is kind of crazy. But there's how you absolutely dominate with no Mythic Pantheon. Uh, if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think with the build and strat. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it for you. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Sir. Hey, guys. What is up? Okay, because that game was so actually short, uh, I wanted to do an Earth game for you guys. Playing the exact same build. Showing you guys the build is just as strong. And Pantheon's really, really strong uh, in Earth. Got a really, really easily chain stunnable uh, CC. Great, great carry potential. And uh, yeah, I've just kind of been like toying with the idea of like when I do unfortunately get shorter games uh, of attaching something a little bit extra for you guys, you know, because you guys, you guys deserve more uh, GSA content, right? We're just going to be, oh, you want to jump on me, bro? It's kind of interesting. They both, both teams have Cassiopeia and both teams have uh, Misfortune. Are those champions just like really good in earth or what? But yeah, we're just going to have some fun. And guys, let me know down in the comments if you want to see a little bit more of this. Uh, you know, when the games are on their shorter side, you want to see a little bit of Earth action. Or maybe like ARAM or I don't know. Just something. You guys just deserve more. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Got her flash. Don't think I can go in. Dude, I'm like the only one like willing to go in here. So where is, where is that Shinta earlier, bro? flash out of the Nico E or I just insta die. Hey, I tried to fight level one. I know, I know like the code of earth dictates that you have to fight level one. I tried, man. I tried. You guys saw it. But let's go back. Um, let's just go bot lane just because that's where we're comfy. Oh, we're laden with Shin. Okay, so if we can ever get on top of someone, we just like change these. Oh, right here, right here. There it is, boys. First blood. Probably could have stunned a little faster and saved my shin. I think I'm dead here. Ah! Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh. Gotta get my empowered W up before I go for him. And I know he's gonna jump out of it, too. But yeah, look at this, man. Like, my, my stun is one second long, and it's like a three-second cooldown. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be, like, permanently invincible with my E. Permanently stunning him with my W. It's gonna be a fun time. Um, let's go back. We're gonna go Bork. Bork, Bork, Bork. Yeah, not gonna lie. This year, more than any other, I've actually enjoyed Earth, like, a lot. Like, I used to kind of just think it was, like, a stupid game. Like, a waste of time. Like, oh, uh, who cares about Earth, you know? Got him. Coming back for the fish. Yo, he this man is going deeps. That fizz did not like that shin. But yeah, I, I I think I've just like started to like Earth. There are no enemies. Oh no. Never been about it before, but this year I I think it's because I played it with a couple of my friends and like had a couple of really good games. It was just like, oh okay. Maybe Earth is actually okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm losing this one. Yeah, I think I'm losing that one, boys. Oh, Shin. Come on, brother. All right, that Fizz is a little spooky. Not gonna lie. Uh, we'll grab this. Grab boots. We're already, like, 
Very getting close to our our Borky Bork. You get gold so fast in this game. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that was satisfying. Okay, well that was a 2v3 and we still got a kill. So I think I'm going to just be happy with that. Catch the wave. If they try to dive me, I'd love to see that. Nice shot, bro. I put my E on the wrong side, man. I got hit. I didn't flash the Nico E and I put my E on the wrong side. But you know what? Honestly, it's Earth. I need, I, I'm, I'm probably just overthinking this. Let's let's just go nuts, bro. Let's just sla smash on our keyboard like everybody else. Don't don't try to play this intelligently. We did. We just go in on everything now. Like I'm going behind him. I mean, this is not the real one, obviously, but. Doesn't really matter. Mm. Yo, I dodge that. No, man, it's so hard. I feel like my shit is not doing like anything. Oh, and he's going like, what is he? What is he building? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's Earth. It's Earth. It's Earth. Don't overthink it, bro. All right, maybe we, uh, maybe we change the matchups here a little bit. Cass Cassie wants to bot. Nah, man, I, I can't, I can't give up on my, uh, my boy Shen. I can't give up on him, bro. Okay, I'm alive. Oh my god. No way. No freaking way <laughs> All right, we got our full bork now now our empowered W is just going to be absolutely slapping Now it is 8 to 15. We're, we're falling a little bit behind here, but I'm gonna go merc treads so We're gonna go into the the bork build To come behind my turret here Oh, I think I can ult this Looking at his flash W R. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! I wasn't even looking, man. The no look Achille Achilles spear toss. That was actually so sick. That was so nice. I think of the spell shield, bro. Oh, showed me? Fight me, bro! Kidding me? Bro, no one will fight. Wait, uh, isn't Fizz like up here? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that is a lot of uh, that's a lot of damage. Alrighty, yeah, I was pretty sure that I saw Fizz like out of the corner of my eye up there. I I get I guess MF did not uh did not see the same thing. Oh, we taunted through the alt. Let's see it. Okay, another taunt. Let's go, baby. My my boy Shen's scaling. Let's get a dragon. Do people do dragons in Earth? Oh. Okay. Okay.
Get the dragon? I don't. What, what, what do dragons give you? Dude, Cassie's going crazy. Cassie's insane in this game mode. Look at her go. Oh my god. All right, F Fizz is the big, uh, the big danger here. So I'm gonna hover my, I'm gonna shadow my Cassie so it doesn't one-shot her. Oh, actually. Hmm. Maybe I should have played to my Cassie. I wonder, I wonder if I could have saved her. I'm not sure, actually. But Diana just dropped down from the heavens. I'm like, I gotta kill her there, bro. I, I have to punish her for that. Yo, are we ever gonna get a Shin ult, though? Shin ult me, homie. I've, I've been with you since level one, bro. Remember me? All right, we're definitely gonna go Maul of Malmordius. Just another, another non-mythic item that is just absolutely broken. All right, we gotta kill this Shin somehow. I mean, uh, <laughs> we gotta kill this Fizz somehow. Oh man, I can't catch him. No way! Oh my god, let's go, baby! The freaking outplay. Let's go. Whew, I'm I'm trying out here, man. I'm trying. Team's looking a little little rough. I got a level nine MF. Their team is just like hardcore pushing objectives too. Ghost. See if I can catch someone here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. Can we do Baron? We can do Baron. I mean, from what I've seen of Cassiopeia, there's no way we shouldn't be able to do Baron here. Uh, we gotta... Maybe we cheese the Fizz? I, re I really just want to do the Baron, man. Guys, I swear we can do it if we ca if Cassiopeia comes. I will press forward. All right, now we do the Baron. Okay, they want to do Dragon, I guess. <laughs> ay ay ay, team! Okay. Uh, well, I got my Maul. Go probably death stance honestly at this point. My Bork has done four thousand damage. Which seems to be pretty cracked. Oh no, they're taking our dragon. Kill him, Dude, that Cassie damage is so funny. It's like just literally like machine gun Cassiopeia. I just want Baron so that like they can't split push us. Come here. Beautiful. Good job, team. When I really- Yo, Baron. Please. Please come, bro. I have already fallen. I'll tank it, I'll tank it, I'll tank it. You just- you, you just have to DPS it, bro. Dude, I can like cycle through my empowered- my empowered abilities so fast, it's so funny. 
I can just like permanently keep my E up pretty much. There we go. Whoa, what is that slow, man? That is absurd. <laughs> what is that? What is that, man? Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Fizz is still alive. Oh, see, like, this, this, this is, this Fizz is, like, the worst type of Earth player, though. Like, they're literally just, like, split pushing. This, this is the kind of stuff that I don't think is very fun on Earth. We'll just, like, refuse to, like, like, why not just join the ARAM, bro? That's what you get. That's what you get for not trying to have fun. All right, we just got our first turret, baby. Let's go. Fourteen kills, not bad, not bad. Raised against surrender. Dude, it's literally just like my empowered W that kills them. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go help my Shin. You guys do dragon. We'll try ulting. My ult's like a little slow for this game mode, honestly. Like, this is a very micro oriented game. My ult is just all macro, basically. We got Rift Herald. All right, I just protect my Cassie from Fizz. Uh oh, nice flash. Ghost is so OP, man. I'm just zooming around at the speed of light. All right, we got the Baron buff. Okay, Nico seems to be a little tilted. I mean, Fizz is just trying to split us. We're, go we're going straight down mid. Oh, we're getting some serious casualties, though. Can we just, like, take this wave and end the game? I actually have no idea. MF is backing. Fizz, Fizz is still splitting. If we die here, Fizz probably ends the game. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're about to lose. <laughs> From the skies, they see war, but Earth has only oh my god. The base race, bro. Do we both get back? I think we both get back though. Nice, nice, nice. Kill the kill the fizz, kill the fizz. Where did this guy go? Oh my god, he went towards my base. <laughs> Alright, run it down mid, run it down mid. In, baby! I ulted behind her. I should have gone deeper, honestly. Oh, it cuts her off, though. It cuts her off. Oh, I tried to do the little turnaround thing, man. I predicted it, it just didn't work. Oh, nice little flash taunt. That taunt flash. Uh-oh, Cassie went top. Is it actually endable? Is it endable without Cassie? Yo, why didn't Cassie come? Oh my god, Cassie trolled us. We might lose now. We might actually lose. Cassie, you've betrayed us. We might lose. Nah, Shin got his back off. Oh my god, just barely though. Actually, just barely. 
Uh, they might get the Baron though. Um, we will go. Let's go like, honestly, wits in maybe. Guardian Angel. Let's go Guardian Angel. They're gonna go. They're gonna get Baron. Oh my God, this game just got really hard. Wait, are they not getting Baron? Hopefully, they're not getting Baron. Oh my god! They didn't get Baron! Wait, they haven't even got the dragon yet. Uh, that's gone though. That's gone. Get him, Shen! Come on, buddy! Come on, big boy! Yes! Somebody hit him! Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna move this way so I ulted behind him. Okay. I think we need to end it here. Bro, it is actually like so... Oh, I dodged the ulti though. It is so hard to get onto them, man. Oh, I got it. Okay, 10 seconds on Fizz. This Cassiope is a monster though. I'm ulting behind her. I'm ulting behind her. Oh my god. This is up though. This is up. I wanted to give him one last chance to fight. Dude, 22 kills. This game was actually insane, bro. Like, this is like the most intense game I've played like in a week actually crazy but uh there it is guys we played pantheon with the new no mythic build in uh you know summoner's rift normals and then uh well ranked and then we played it in earth as well there's the damage start forty nine thousand damage i put that freaking team on my back it's not even up for debate uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed playing it. And uh, definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see, you know, more Earth on top of, uh, you know, the regular games. And if it's like a shorter game or whatever. Because I just want you guys to have more, man. Like, I am so appreciative that you guys enjoy my content and, like, you allow me to be in this position to create content for you guys. So I want you guys to have more of it. But, um, yeah, pretty insane performance there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as a whole, both games. Take it easy, boys. Peace out. Boom, what up? Solo Ioki only here playing some Pantheon support with a twist. Now, guys, I was watching one of my favorite streamers earlier today. Actually, just like an hour ago. Uh, Solo Renekton only. Mike, such a great guy. Really, really genuine dude. Uh, super supportive. Really just genuine. And that's a rare thing in the content creation scene. Uh, and he was playing Pantheon support, or he was playing AP Pantheon top, and I was watching him and he just ha was having so much fun that it made me want to go out and have fun with it. So here we go, guys. Pantheon support with the twist. We are playing full AP. Now, the only AP ratio that Pantheon has is a 100% ratio on his W. And so it's kind of interesting. So our W is going to be our big burst move, and then everything that comes after that is going to be a lot of damage. It's just that, like... It's not going to be as much as normal, right? But the biggest difference is that, like, my stun is going to be, like, straight up one-shotting them and uh, hopefully getting them low enough that the rest of my combo can, uh, can kill them. And we are basically the ultimate counter to Yumi because, as you just saw, she can literally never detach because I've got a pretty much instant targeted stun that I just <laughs> wall up on her with. I'm going to throw a spear for a little bit of poke. If he walks up for this, I think we think we okay, got level two now. Okay, so going on the Ezreal is actually gonna be a little bit of a, a headache now, but just because he can E out of it. But Yumi can literally just like never detach, or else I'm just I am I'm going on her. And look, she <laughs> she was only comfortable getting off of Ezreal when I was when I was backed up. It's funny. She knows. She knows who the real threat is. So as for runes, guys, we got press the attack, obviously, because of our empowered W procs press the attack by itself. Uh, we got triumph. We got legends tenacity, coup de grace, 
uh, biscuit delivery, time warp tonic, and then AP AP armor. So I'm trying out some new runes. Usually I go domination secondary, but again, I was watching Mike play and I'm just like, man, that looks fun. So I'm going to go pretty much his exact build. Uh, and he went biscuit delivery and, and, and time warp, so. But to be honest, time warp tonic is like, I think it's kind of OP. Hmm. She missed her E. Mostly just looking for Yumi here, I think. I think if I go on Ezreal, it's going to be a pretty bad trade. I'm going to pop one of my pots. I am really fast when I pop a pot. Thank you, Time Warp. But big wave as well. Guys, when you play a champion as simple... or, or Yeah, when you play a champion as like, simple as Pantheon, you really, really got to like choose when to go in. Choose your timings. Because you're pretty much like an all-in champion, right? So I think we're going to clear this wave a little bit, thin it. And then we're going to go on Ezreal. I think she has him. Oh my god. Okay, don't know what all of that was about, MF, but uh at least you got the one for one, you know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm I'm I mean okay, I was gonna say she has to have someone coming. <laughs> oh my god, it still kills us? Ah, I really thought I was out there. I got the flash ignited by Syndra. Alright, so we're not going to be building any of this, guys. We're going to be going for Night Harvester, which just sounds absolutely hilarious to build on Pantheon. We're going to be picking up the refillable potion as well. Yeah, we kind of greeted our flash there, but that was a, that was a lot of damage to come out. I, I thought because I dodged the stun that I was good. All right, I'm going to be coming from an angle here. Hit him with the old bush bamboozle. No ward. No Ezreal. Where, where, where's Ezreal? Are they on dragon? Yeah, they're on dragon. About to be dragon these nuts. All right, I'm going to play in the alcove. We're, lo we're looking for cheese angles here, guys. We're looking for big, big cheese angles. Of course. We got baited. Is she good, though? I think she might be good. No shot. He doesn't take two turret shots there. Hmm. I don't think we can actually kill. Panth, you are mentally not all there. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of right, though. It kind of takes a, 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 a crazy person to play AP Pantheon. You're not wrong, MF. All right, so we're just going to be pumping points into our W... Oh, oh, this is free. This is free. I wanted to kill, bro. I wanted to kill. I don't care. I wanted to kill. I wanted to kill. I wanted to kill. And like MF said, I'm not all there mentally. You never know what your pants support's going to do. They just flash steal the kill. You know what I'm saying? We got a ward here. I always thought, found it really weird when people put the ward here. Like, in this little pocket. Like, you should definitely put it in front of the dragon. Covers so much more space. Aw, oh, man. Alright, so... I kinda lied to you guys. Okay? I kinda lied to you about the AP ratios. I said that I only have one on my W. But I actually have massive, massive 100% ratio also on my ultimate. Now, the problem is that the ultimate is kind of hard to land, but like in an ideal world, imagine I'm building full AP. My ultimate does AP damage and has 100% ratio. 
Like, if we can land it, it's going to be insane, insane, insane one shot. And, like, they're not even going to, like, realize they're getting one shot until it's too late. Because, like, Pantheon Ultimate doesn't really do much, that much damage, right? It's mostly just about moving him from point A to point B. But not when you build AP. Yeah, unfortunately, we're just against this Ezreal, who's just, like, way, way, way too safe. I think we take it back here. Now, we probably don't want to go for actual magic pin boots because the only actual AP damage building AP doesn't necessarily mean you, all, you do all AP damage because your your Q still does AP or AD your W still does AD despite scaling with AP so we don't want magic pin boots we probably just want like CDR boots probably okay looks possible not not probable but possible All right, we do have Oriana ulti to set this up. I'm going to make sure I'm not stepping on a ward here. I am. I mean, we can go for this. We can go for this dive. I need you I need you to pull her out here. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. My damage output is just su such like so weird. Uh, wait. Oh, baby. I might have entered here, actually. Oh, he has flash, too. I'm in trouble. Am I? Nope. We live, baby. All right, that's big. We got heal, flash, Yumi ult. I assume because MF was going back with such low health that they used some of that, but that's fine. Hey, we don't die. It's we, it's 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 all good. All right, yeah, I think I am gonna be going CDR boots. Getting some nice CDR will put my W on a much lower cooldown as well, and gives me you know access to flash sooner. This champion's like super gated by flash. Like if you don't have flash, most people aren't gonna let you just walk up and W them. Okay, Trundle setting him from above. Need a good pillar. Beautiful, actually. I think I have much more, much better synergy with the uh, the mid and jungle than I do with my ADC. Just keep getting my spell thieves. It's kind of funny. My I'm I'm. Further along on my spell thieves. That's what I was afraid of, by the way. I'm further further along on my spell thieves than Yumi is. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I really, really got to watch for getting... Because I can get knocked out of my W. It comes out really, really fast, right? But like Wukong ult, if I'm jumping into it, it just gets canceled. And then I just lost the majority of my damage. Oh, he should not have shown there. I think they're going to walk through. That's right. We Oh. Hmm, where's our ADC? Kind of a bummer, MF just like didn't come. Yeah, we just gotta give that dragon now. Which kind of sucks because that's their second dragon too. I think we all go to that dragon, MF. All right, I'm 1k from Night Harvester. When I get Night Harvester, I think I'm actually going to be, like, pretty terrifying. <laughs> Got 15 seconds on my ulti. Y'all didn't go for the drag. Well, we did. It's just that, like, Ezreal contested us on it, so it's like... You can't just ignore him, you know? Just getting my passive warmed up here. I think we try to go for first tower here.
couple more spell these proc. Don't mind if I do. Wukong's top, so at worst, it's just Syndra. And we get the last plates. Okay. Now we walk in the jungle. Ah, uh, not the best pillar I've ever seen. Pillar kind of helped him out, didn't it? All right. 100 gold to my Night Harvester. It's looking pretty good. Oh. Uh, man. I could have had an angle to like flash W her. Okay, his windwall's down. I don't I don't think we stay for this, guys. We have we have a lot of gold to spend. We're gonna get comboed. Ah, uh, it's looking bad. Oh my god, that flash was Yeah, we are just hard overstaying here, aren't we? Okay. Okay. It's it's two for nothing. It's not the it's not the worst though. It's not the end of the world. I have a big shutdown. I I cannot uh I cannot afford to give it. Now, if they try to dive this, I don't think that's uh good for them. Unreal, man. I can't believe we're not getting an Orn teleport out of this, but at least I guess we get that. Okay, I'm ignited. Yumi ulted, Wukong ulted. I guess I sh we should have stayed under turret. Both of us sh should have stayed under turret there, I think. Ah, oh, man. Blew my flash too. Shutdown went on. Wukong, of course. Of course, of course. Alright, let's see if we can play for an objective here, guys. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying earlier in the game, you gotta, with the champion like Panthon, you really, really gotta, like, choose when to go in. And we are not choosing very good times. Kong's gonna be pretty big. I think he'll be on Mythic after that. Oh, he's not yet. He's got Yumi on him, though. Take the red buff. I like that. 5v5 this. We're going to need Orn to help walk us in. I mean, I could actually alt Ezreal here. Maybe we get a pick. Oh. Oh. Man. Okay, I got his flash though. I like that damage. It's actually got a crazy damage. Oh my god, so is that though. Once again, man, look at this ward. Put it in the center, guys. Put it in the center. Wait, why? Where's our Oriana ult? There we go, baby. Quadra kill under the ADC. We take those. We take those. Man, that was terrifying. Not gonna lie. We are uh, playing these fights really not good. Yo, this guy cannot be here. Absolutely cannot be here. Look, Night Harvester coming in clutch, baby. 423 damage so far. Huge, huge, huge. And we got our first dragon. And it's an Infernal. Exactly what we freaking needed. Let's go. It looks like MF may be greeted for that. But her passive? 
Okay, our passive gifts are out. Nice. Uh, all right, so up next is going to be Lich Bane, boys. Lich Bane. Leave him in a ditch, man. Okay, Orn, I think, probably dies. Maybe he just flashes over. All right, cool. Few seconds on my ulti. Should be looking at the Syndra. This is a close game. Kind of a crazy game. Aha! Prox Night Harvester. Now my spears actually like do something. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's fight, boys. I got my flash up. Looking for Syndra. Obviously, if I can find her, it's going to be a, a jump on Yumi angle. Like, if I can see her detaching, trying to get a, a passive proc off, you know, auto attack, I think we just jump the Yumi killer, pop her. And even if I die for it, like, that's fine. That's fair. We're up really far, guys. We don't know where Wukong's at. I mean, I can go for, like, suicide ult, but... I think I do actually. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like the riskiest thing I've ever done. Are they on Baron? Wait, 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 wait. Is Yas okay, they're not on Baron, right? They're not on Baron. They're not on Baron. Where's this Wukong at, bro? There he is. Okay, not gonna lie, worst case scenario happened for me there. I got knocked out of my stun by the Wukong ult. That could have been absolutely awful. Thankfully, my team actually carried that fight. I think I still think I'm doing like kind of disgusting damage. It's just so much fun. Like the fact that like all my damage comes out at the very beginning of my combo. Just big old targeted stun, unavoidable. Boom. Let's not get caught up here, guys. Oh, boy. It's not worth my flash there. Because if I flash, he might still be in range to dash to me. So I think we just take the, uh, take the L. Take the death, you know? Nothing's on the table right now. I, I definitely think holding on to my flash for like an offensive capability is much better than using it to try to maybe survive. <laughs> Man, look how freaking good press the attack is though. I can't quite get my Lich Bane, which really sucks, but... I've got my ult. I, I really kind of want to make like big plays with my ult. Like, look at that, bro. 490 damage. 490 damage. Now nah, I'm going for it. We'll see what happens. I don't I don't care, bro. Okay, well, we don't we don't land it, but she also doesn't have a stun, which just means that like. Oh, <laughs> I want to cry. I want to cry. Uh, I couldn't get my E off soon enough. Okay, well, we knew this was kind of a inti when we went for it, right? We knew that. We knew that. Luckily, my team is just actually hyper performing. Oh? You be getting thrown around? Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I don't think we'd try to end this here, guys. Get dragged. Guys, guys, guys. We can't, we, we can't, we can't end against Syndra. Syndra's going to give you a three-man stun into a three-man Yasuo ult. Guys, 
Guys, you can't end the game. You cannot end the game, guys. Oh, what a surprise. We put 500 damage on one of the turrets. And now we're going to die. Man, it's like I know what I'm talking about or something. Well, at least we still get the dragon. Yo, my W does so much damage, it's actually stupid. Yo, I just got a triple there. <laughs> we still can't end the game, though. 15 seconds on Syndra. Just reset. Just reset. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yo, my... This is actually such a fun freaking way to play Pantheon. Uh, I'm going to grab Stopwatch. Start building into Zonias. Guys, we can't end the game. Like, do you understand that, like... This is how much time we had to end the game? Like, I know Trundle takes turrets really fast, but I don't. I will not contribute to that at all. And all we do is, like, stagger our death timers, and then they get barren through, like, 3v5. <laughs> yeah, I'm, down, I'm definitely down to just, like, play for barren now. Gong's gonna go for this. Maybe we harass him here. That's not him. Oh! That was him. Okay, now we end the game. Now we end the game. But I'm gonna look for Ezreal first. Oh! I found him! Oh my god! Wow, wow, wow. Well, at least I got to use my big old AP ultimate at least one time. Nice little assassination there at the end. Guys, we are 12, 4, and 12 on AP Pantheon. Listen, it looked... Solar Deck did only made it look so freaking fun. I absolutely had to try it. And it is just... Oh my god, we got troll hipped. Guys. Guys. Okay, maybe we can't end the game now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should have been paying attention to that timer, actually. Well, that's not good. Do we lose Baron? I don't think so. Oh, maybe we do, actually. Oh, maybe we do. We'll see, we'll see. I'm going to sell this, grab my... Actually, I... I don't need my Zonias. We'll just upgrade this, actually. Full Medjai's. All right, I'm coming in. Yo, I got 25 seconds on my ulti. Can we stall it? Can we stall that long? They only have one person on Baron right now. Oh! Syndra straight griefing. Love to see that. Love that for us. Oh, baby. And they're still trying to greet it. Oh, I got the Yumi! That's too funny. I, 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 I am the anti-Yumi task force. It's actually so hard to land. Oh. Oh. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, there's just such a big wind up on it that even like doing really close alts is like so hard to land actually. But man, if I land at 762 magic damage, bro. Which is about how much my W is doing on a 5.45 second cooldown. I like this build actually. This build is super clean.
All right, elixir of sorcery. Let's go get us a dragon, boys. Mm, dying right now would be pretty bad. Make sure you get your ulti off at least. I knew it. I knew she was going to ult the ball. Oh my god, I saw that happening a mile away. Okay, 4v5 for the dragon. Here we go. Oh, speared him! Double kill! Give me the triple. Give me the triple. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. You won't even see this coming. Oh, oh, you stole my triple, bro. That was my triple. You know it. I called dibs. Oh. Ah, uh, that turret hurts a lot, actually. It is what it is, boys. Bit of a wacky ending. 15 kills on AP Pantheon support, though, guys. What a freaking game. Such a fun, fun build. Honestly, it's going to be hard to go back to AD Pantheon support after that one. But uh, let's take a look at the damage chart. I am interested to see what my damage looks like because there are long stretches where I'm not dealing any damage at all. And you got champions like MF and Ezreal who pretty much always have constant access to damage. So we'll see... No, my damage was actually still pretty good. 21,000 damage. Most damage on the team was Wukong and MF, but we, we did second most. That's honestly pretty freaking good. Uh, here's the runes, guys. Here's the stats. You guys can take a look at those. Pause, pause the video if you need to. But if you guys watch this on YouTube, one shout out to my boy, Solar Redacted Only. Much love, Mike. And uh, it, you made it look so fun that I had to try it too. So, uh, And hopefully I made it look fun. And now... You guys watching at home want to try it. So if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think about the build and strat down in the comments, boys. Take it easy. Peace. Uh...